Hi everybody, uh, as you know we've been uh, messing about with the uh, hot air engines or Stirling cycle engines as these are the correct uh, term is, uh, a closed air cycle which is um, um, effectively heat expansion and contraction of the same air within a closed system. Uh, well, when we were, or when I was looking for some bits and pieces uh, I came across uh, this little thing that I built uh, about 15 years ago uh, and um, the, uh, oops, the test tube was broken and, um, and whatnot and uh, so we, we repaired some bits and pieces. Uh, how it works is basically the, uh, the marbles that you see rolling back and forth are acting as a displacement piston which effectively, uh, by virtue of the Scotch yoke on, on the, um, <laughs> it, uh, it's a bit sticky. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't know when to make its mind up, which way to go. But um, effectively, uh, the test tube is the, uh, air displacement system and then the power piston is there and um, so the action of the ball, ball marbles rolling back and forth is to move the air from the hot to the cold end although there's not much differential in this but you see a little and there's enough for it to work um, And then, of course, you get expansion and contraction, which acts on the power piston here. <laughs> but, uh, the, uh, it's a 4 to 1 gear ratio uh, onto the uh, very ancient old uh, electric fan blade. Uh, off a, that's off a 1920s desk fan. Um, it acts as a flywheel actually. Um, and I just thought you'd like to see uh, the Sterling cycle in a bit of a novel arrangement, really. Well, it's changed its mind itself the other way. Oh. No, it'll know. We might have a little bit of an air leak somewhere. This could be what's causing the problem. Um, couldn't find any methylated spirits, so we're running with uh, isopropyl alcohol, hence the uh, very yellow, sooty, horrible flame. But, uh, it's a little bit of a novelty. Thanks for watching.